Hi, it's Ray from Pro Shaper Workshop in Charlton, Massachusetts. Today we have a special guest. Hi. That's Steven. Come on, raise your helmet and let everybody see you. That's Steven. How old are you, Steven? Nine years old. Have you ever welded before in your life? Never. Did you like to try it? Yeah. We're going to try aluminum. Aluminum is considered to be difficult to weld. We'll see how you can do. Maybe you can do it, maybe you can't. Let's see. Let's give it a good try. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to tack this together. This is two pieces of metal, and what we're going to do is make it into one piece of metal. All right, okay. so to do that, first you take and just scratch it a little bit. That gets the oxides off. The welder actually does it too, but it doesn't hurt to uh, scratch it a little with a stainless brush. I'll do the tacking. And you can watch how I do the tacking. Tacking is just little spots that I'm going to uh, essentially like weld together. It's like gluing it together, all right? Okay. And then I will show you how to what's called run a bead. And then I'll let you try running a bead. Okay. So we clamp it together. Like that. Now you got to make sure you have your helmet on because the uh, light is really intense and it'll hurt your eyes, all right? Okay. So we're going to have to get you some gloves too in a little while, but you won't need the gloves until you're actually welding. So um, let me put that right like that. Now you push the helmet down and um, it should automatically darken up. Can you see good from there? Yeah. You can move in a little closer if you want. Let's see. Okay, that's good right there. Now, this is what's called a torch, and it'll make an electric flame. So I have a pedal down here. See that my foot on the pedal down below? Yeah. Okay, so I push that pedal and it makes the torch go. So here we go. See, and then that's called the tack there. So. You hold this just a little bit off the surface and push the button, the pedal, and it makes that nice little tack. I mean, you can put this in here, put that torch in there, and that will hold it. So those are pretty easy. Let me do them all the way. We'll get them the whole length here. Can you see it good? Yeah. Uh. It gets dark when you... Yeah, it automatically gets dark. These are automatic helmets. They're meant to do that. So that allows you to see it without burning your eyes. Okay, so that's tacked on this side. Now, tacks of like this are adequate, but I want to make it a little bit stronger, so I'm going to just hit the fusion, fusion uh, weld the, the back of those tacks too. I'll run them a little bit. They look pretty good, but I'm going to hit them again just on this side. It'll only take a minute.
Now the key here on this tacking, or the welding for that matter, is you're going to hold this at the right spot. So it's about right there. Can you see where that distance is? Yep. If you have it up here, it's not going to work. If you put it too close, it'll cause this tungsten to pick up material from the surface and then you have to grind the tungsten. So you don't want it too close, you don't want it too far away, you want it just right about like that. And then you just hold it there and then push the button. The foot pedal button. That turns it on, see? Now those are really good tacks because we did them both sides and it's welded all the way through. There's no cracking in them or anything. So now we can run a bead and we're running this Everlast welder with 60 amps and those were done without a pulse. A pulse is, you know what the pulse is in your body is like? You know what the pulse is? You know when they take your pulse? It goes doop, 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 right? Well, it's a pulse on a, on a welder is the same thing. Instead of going continuously, it goes bzzz, bzzz, bzzz. And we're going to be running it one pulse a second, I believe, which is almost like the same as your pulse in your body. Six, 60 pulses per minute. So, we're going to put it on the pulse. And we have, in order to use this welder, you have to use a, uh, a shielding gas. And usually everybody uses argon, but we're going to be using argon with helium. So it's 50% argon, 50% helium. That makes a big difference when you're welding aluminum. And uh, I'll give you an example of that now. So we're going to do the pulse welding. We'll scratch this a little bit like this. Now you watch this carefully because I'm going to let you do it in a minute here, right? I'm just going to do a little section of it and then you can do it. And it's all about just holding this in the right spot. We might have to elevate the foot pedal so you can operate the foot pedal. We've got a little uh, stand we'll put it on or something. All right. So you rest your hand like this on the bench or a piece of wood. Sometimes we can put a piece of wood here. And now watch how I do this. So see what happened is that it pulses and see how that's all welded now? Yeah. And uh, You can draw really good and you can do penmanship really good with a pencil. So just consider this to be like a pencil and but what happens is when you first fire it off it's a, the metal is a little cool so you have to stay in that area a little longer for it to melt together but then the heat starts building up and then you, got, you have to move it forward at a little faster clip. And if you don't go fast enough, you can overheat it a little bit there. So once you see that the puddle, that's where it's all molten, the, the metal becomes from a solid to a liquid, and then you just move a little faster. But you saw it's pretty slow. It's just like beep, 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 beep. Pretty easy. Huh? Like centimeter by centimeter by centimeter. Yeah, yeah. If I think in inches, you're thinking in metric. So, centimeters. Eighth of an inch at a time. You know what eighth of an inch is? Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right, let's get you set up with a foot pedal control here. Um, and then make sure that this is all comfortable. You push the pedal? Yep. Right, there you go. Well, 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 let it, let the pedal up, let the pedal up. You welded the tungsten to the, okay, now go ahead, it'll be all right. Down a little with the tungsten, down a little, down a little, down, down. 
Right there, right there, right there. Down a little, down a little. There you go. Pretty easy, huh? Yeah. Oh, look, don't go in the puddle. Too far away, too close. You gotta be just right, all right? That was excellent. All right, let me, uh, let me see the tungsten. Put pedal off the, off your foot off the pedal, okay? Let me grind the tungsten here, because you got in the puddle. When you get in the puddle, the tungsten picks up a little bit of the aluminum. So yeah. yeah and then, you have to then, then you have to grind it. I'll show you now. How do you grind? On the, on the little bench grinder over here. So put that back over there. Let me grind this, and then we'll do another. We'll do another bead right here. Okay. I think you're getting it now. Oh, much better. Whoop, 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 stop the pedal, stop the pedal. All right, once it, you, you, you got it too close, you got it too close again. But you were good up until that point. All right, yeah, let's. I just need to learn how to. Yeah, to keep, to keep the distance. distance, to keep the distance exactly right, okay? Go ahead. Where do I start? Go ahead, start again. Push the pedal and it'll go. It's steady, all right? Yeah. You've got the speed excellent. That bead's better than mine. Okay, now. What you want to do is start right about here. We'll try doing the weld. Start about right here and then just run it like that, right on that seam. You got to stay right on that seam, all right? All right? Grind that tungsten again. Go a little slower, a little slower. decent. You had one little spot. See, this is what happens when you touch the tungsten. It'll get dark like that. But it cleaned itself up. And that doesn't look bad. It looks really good. All right, now, see that weld came right through. We got penetration on the back side. So now what we're going to do is just run the welder like you've done run it right down right on top of that okay start right over here there you go all right let's uh, slow down slow down you're going a little too fast A little closer, a little closer. You're going off the bead. Closer, closer. Closer, closer. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, you got it, you got it. Okay, let's see what we see what it looks like. Looks good to me. Okay, now what we're gonna do is hammer this down. And then we'll give it the torture test and see if nine-year-old Steven, first time ever welding aluminum, made a successful weld, meaning the weld is as strong as the parent metal. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so I planished out the weld, and as I mentioned, if there's any little undercuts, there's a couple little ones. There's one tiny one here and a couple over here. I didn't want to grind too deep. Uh, those might be a little weak point. Uh, it might crack right there. It's possible. Um, with a little bit better technique, that wouldn't happen. Or add and rod. We, we just did uh, fusion welding. So I'm going to have Steven hit this. We'll hit it from this side and see if anything happens. If it is a good weld or will it crack? He's going to use this heavy duty ball peen hammer. You can use two ham handles, hand is hands on it on the handle and you can hit it right in the middle right there as hot as you can all right can you do that with two hands let's see try it that's it right there hit it harder come on you get really mad at it
That's it. That's it. Hit it hard as you can. There you go. Now you're doing it. Getting mad at it. Oh boy, look at that. Is that the first time you ever swung a ball peen hammer? Yep. The first time he's ever swung a ball peen hammer. All right, let's put it back up on the bag here. What are we doing for performance so far? No problem whatsoever. Go ahead, hit it again. Oh, right on the seam, right where you welded. Right in the center, right in there, okay? That's your target. Hit it. Show us what you got. Come on. That's it, that's the idea. Oh, now we're really getting into it. That's it. Excellent. All right. All right, let's see what the results look like. Do you see any cracks at all in there? Scrapes, but no cracks. No cracks. Scrapes, but no cracks. Scrapes from the hammer, but no cracks. A nine-year-old first time ever welding with a two-minute welding teaching lesson. Perfect aluminum weld. The key is pulse in 50% argon, 50% helium.